Ah. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lara Takubedi, as you should know, but if you don't know, now you know. So today it's going to be a very informal video. I'm with my cousin yet again. Get used to this face. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I just got random questions off Google. I tried to get like a mixture of like spicy videos. So what I saw, I didn't go through the questions, mm. but it goes from like medium to like very raunchy videos, uh, questions. Yeah. So if you don't want to answer, then you take a sip. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me take a sip first. Yeah, let me take a sip. Yeah. Just to warm up the throat. Yeah, I'm awesome. Good stuff. Alright, let's get into it. What is your go-to comfort food? You know what? I love cholesterol. <laughs> Greasy, oh. greasy, fatty, fatty, the wrong bad stuff. food. Yeah. Comfort. Like, but the thing is, now when I'm sad, my first thought is not like eat something. <laughs> so yeah. I don't have like comfort. Not, not really. If you're sad. Oh, I wasted but... such a good joke on mom right now, nigga. Yeah, like, by the way, I call Baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Bro, you guys take it off, bro. Okay. Like, it's, 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 it's part of the video. Fuck it. So what happened was, Ethan called, telling mom that she, that we should leave a chicken feed. So you know what I said? I said it's not like they're gonna run away. You know what I'm saying? She didn't catch it. She just turned the corner and just kept on walking. What a waste, bro. You get it? Take two. You like? Meat. Fried meat. Yeah. With the fat. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. like really oh. And like a good potato. Ish. Yeah. Roasted potato. Yes. And like a sauce. Ish. Not too much sauce. Like with a good dessert. Mm. Mine. A cocktail. And a cocktail. Mm. For me, ne? and a lot of people are not going to be surprised, but it's McDonald's. <laughs> it's McDonald's. I can be sad, <laughs> angry, whatever, frustrated. Once yeah, no, I McDonald's, get McDonald's, McDonald's does it for you. The large meal. Listen, I'm okay. And you take, like you, you eat like a large Big Mac meal. With ten piece nuggets and with the sweet and sour sauce, with the McFlurry, with the large coke. No, not at all. Too much. Listen, comfort food. Tell us your cheesiest pickup line that I've used on someone or someone yeah. used on me. With yours, actually. I've never hit on anyone. <laughs> I've never. I've never tried to pick up anyone. Yeah, I've never. I've never, I've never. Okay, what have you, what have you done to get a guy's attraction or attention? attention. Yeah, attention. Yeah. Like the weirdest thing I've ever done. Yeah, your your cheesiest thing you've ever done. Like, how does this work? So we have to <laughs> not sit. <safe>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know what? Screw this. Let's just sip <laughs> and answer. An answer. Yeah. yeah. Um, what have I done? I have. I think the weirdest thing I've ever done is snuck out of my mom's house at night to go see a guy. Cabo! Have you done that? What time was that? Late. Because <laughs> my did, mom used How to did you even do that? Shifts. Late night oh, shift. when she was not there. Hmm. But it was innocent. It was innocent. I was thinking. I was thinking. Yeah, the fact that it's snuck out. So cool. Mm. I've never done that. I mean, look at the yacht. How do I? Even you can't. Out? Like the moment I open the siding door, it's who's that? You can't. I'm just kind of embarrassed that I've done that. No, that that's nice. Happen. Don't be embarrassed. It's nice to sneak out. Like the thrill. 
and the and thing you were is, young. yeah, it was, and it was so innocent exactly. that I didn't even see anything wrong. But now that I think back, what was wrong about it? Though? I was thinking out. Oh, I was leaving my sister alone, <laughs> <laughs> sleeping, <laughs> so I can go. Cow. What? So tore the ball. Oh, so you were sitting it's outside. It's Okay, no, that's fine then. You didn't like leave the premises. Yeah, but like sometimes we lived in a complex, so like we would walk around. Oh no, that's fine. And she's asleep? So unsafe. No, but that's fine. It's not like you like went out. It's bad because now that I think of it, I'm like, that boy wasn't even my boyfriend. What a waste of my time. (laughs) (laughs) What a waste of sneaking out. Like, that's nice. Like Which my one? I'd always hear my friends like sneaking out, but I'd never do that. Okay, for me it my thing is whenever I want to go out, I'd go to my friend's place and sleep over. And sneak out to your friend's house. No, we wouldn't sneak out. The the parents were more understanding. That yeah, you're gonna go out, yeah, yeah. My mom was very understanding. She just didn't know. No, I was your mom has out. always been She just never knew I was sneaking out. She watches this video. <laughs> now she knows. Now you know. <laughs> I think my cheesiest thing I've ever done. No, not the one I used to do is shocking. I do. You know what? It's not cheesy. It's I, naughty. Yeah, it's naughty. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's so naughty. Let me take a sip. <laughs> Let me take a sip. Really. It's so PG eighteen. So, um, I went on a date, right, with a guy in question. I'm not gonna name him. I was going to think of a nickname, but it's gonna be so obvious. <laughs> if I think of a nickname, but um, we went on a first date, and it was during the day, and then um. So I had seen it in movies where the girl like takes like you see in the cocktail when there's like a cherry and then you put it in your mouth and you twist it. Apparently it gets guys like like in the mood. No, then, not in the mood, but like like <laughs> like she's interested, yeah. You know? you know? So I tried it with this person and and it worked. Like I put it in my mouth, I chew the cherry, and then I started like twisting it, and then it twisted. <laughs> yeah, and I felt so proud. I was and like, sexy. I was like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and he was also like, I've never ever seen such in my life. And I was like, in my mind, I'm like, I've also he must never seen that. Watch TV. Boys don't watch TV. No, we were like. I'm I'm saying because you but like you got it from TV. Mm. Boys, boys don't No, but apparently they've seen that on TV. So to see that like actually happening, that's just like Okay, I'll see you. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell the story of your first kiss. And how old were you? I'm so disappointed. Cause I can't even it's so long ago. <laughs> like I only had like three boyfriends. You mean in your whole life? In my whole life. No, that's not bad. Nah, compliment because it was like that long ago. But knowing the guy, mm-hmm. it was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How old were you? When I was in high school. I was maybe. 17, 16, 17. Oh, is it nice when you think that? If I think, if I think about the person, mm-hmm. it must have been good. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that I can't, I can't, I don't want to lie and say I remember my first girl. I mm-hmm. don't remember. Mm-hmm. It's a long time ago. That guy, man, used to give me the best, like, forehead kiss. <laughs> I remember those like clearly, <laughs> but like they were the best. So they were passionate. Yeah. So his kiss must have been amazing. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I was also in high school, and he was my first boyfriend. 
and it was such an innocent relationship like i was still a virgin i think he was still a virgin i think i've shared this actually when i was with this in one of my videos and our dates were like taking walks mm. talking for hours you know even when i'd go and visit him we wouldn't do anything naughty mm. yeah my pictures of each that other. guy as well we mm. all we did was kiss Hmm. and talk and the kiss and wasn't hand. like the kiss wasn't leading to anything hmm. that was it hmm. so i remember my kiss it was just but when i got home i was just <laughs> <laughs> and even yeah, now i still respect him because he didn't he never pressurized me and like it was a good first love, yeah. I can say. Yeah. Hmm. Innocent. No pressure for sex. Yeah. No pressure for all these things. Let's just be together mm. and That's be fine. happy. Let's go to McDonald's. And, and that guy actually, actually taught me real love. Mm. My first boyfriend. But then we go astray mm. as we get older. Mm. Like it was real, genuine mm. love. I loved this person. I could talk to him about anything and everything. Mm. We would laugh, we would plan, we would, you know, it was a really good relationship. Life happens. Then rubbish. <laughs> anyway, describe your worst date. <laughs> Don't name drop. <laughs> okay, you can name drop. I'll 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 meet it. I need to know who it is. My I don't know it was with my husband. Okay. First date. First time he ever took me out. That was so, so I don't, bad. I don't yeah. But I don't know if it qualifies as a date because he claimed that day that we weren't going on a date. He was mm -hmm. just getting to know me yeah. but he was like telling me all these weird things he, he was like telling me how he never takes girls out mm -hmm. and like girls never spend his money so but i was just like okay first of all this is not a date mm -hmm. second of all you asked me to come here yeah because you want to get to know me as a person third of all why did he seem passive aggressive? Yeah. And like he was just making a, a point to like tell me that like girls just don't spend my money. And like don't think don't think you're gonna spend my money. Oh my God. Like and if I spend if I call you here and choose to spend money on you, it's really because I want to. So don't like, So don't be even, thankful. Yeah, and like don't even get it into your head that be grateful, bitch. <laughs> be grateful. Yeah, I will spend my money. Oh, so grateful, bitch. <laughs> like, that's basically what he's saying. Oh damn, that it was really bad. I like, I felt so uncomfortable because I just felt like, why did I come? Oh why did I come here? This was so weird, and I don't even know this guy. Like, I just met him, and then you went for other dates. Yeah, and then we went for other dates. So, cause maybe clearly he wanted to spend his money on me. I don't know. And I ended up marrying the guy. <laughs> but why? <laughs> when the first date is bad, I usually like it was just. Bad. I it was bad. But I it. think, in my mind, it wasn't gonna go anywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it just, I knew it wasn't a date. He was just somebody, cause we worked together. Someone I wanted to get to know. And he just made it seem like a meet and greet. I don't know, but I didn't. I, I never in a million years thought that person would end up being my husband. Never. It was it was really weird and it was uncomfortable. But you still went on more dates. Hmm. Why? And yeah, the dates the dates were weird. <laughs> Because, Brad, dates for me are very personal. 
like and the thing is with me and i'm telling you all my exes can like <laughs> if they're watching this they'll be like no for real i'll like meet them and we'll exchange numbers and we'll talk for months mm. before i go on a date with them mm. and then when we go on a date then after that date we'll talk for months again mm. you know and if the date is bad i just i don't block them i just stop talking to them as much because i feel like a date shows you what's to come but as no, well looking, you still looking you back going, you yeah going. looking back definitely like the signs are all there you're just like you know, this is crazy you, you got your blinders on yeah like if a friend told me that she went through that i'll just be like girl don't even don't do it don't even think yeah about now we can but then from experience in hindsight if you look back you're just like no wow. yeah yeah we all have that yeah we and i think that. i just it's in my personality to really see the best in people mm. give them the benefit of the yeah benefit. i think that's just how, like i i meet really weird people really yeah, weird people weird. and i just i can look past all of that and they keep doing wrong to you but anyway like, let's keep the video light <clears throat> yes please <laughs> i haven't had a, a bad date i've never had a bad date have you hey, have you ever had a crush on a teacher if so who no i have i have <laughs> that's why you're like yeah <laughs> <laughs> no i've never but i don't think it was a matter of of a crush as in You know, mm-hmm. I like to hit that. No, oh, but okay. more of like a he's so handsome. No, it was my no. I'm not going to see which teacher it was because the people that used to be in high school with me watch this. They'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to say his name. Don't. But you know, I think I had a crush. Oh, oh, I liked him. No, it wasn't a crush. I liked him. Because he was just very sweet to me and very patient with me. The teacher. Yes. <laughs> yes. And no, you know what happened? I came, I, I just transferred yeah. from Revival. And Revival, we didn't have that interpersonal mm. relationship with teachers. teachers yes. So he was the first teacher who was actually like... Nice to you and kind. Nice to me and paying attention and realizing, oh, you're struggling with this. Let me help you. Nice. So I like this teacher. And he's handsome and he's white. Moving right on. If you could sleep with a celebrity, who would it be? I am. Tell me yours. Michael B. Jordan, man. Oh. Sleep with how? Like. <laughs> Listen, however you want to bend it. Couple of adults, you know what it means. <laughs> you no, know, like, guys, I take or just sleep there, just like, and then wake up next to him and just be like, hi. Like we'll be Jordan, mm. even if we just sleep. You as well, me as well. Michael B. Michael B. has that thing, man. Yeah. Eee. Damn it, man. <laughs> What color underwear are you currently sporting? Gray. Right now, gray. Mine is top one. Like almost the color of my skin. Mine is gray. Have you ever been skinny dipping? Hey, we're going there now. Mm-mm. I have. I'm I'm sure you have. <laughs> <laughs> Wild child. I need to repent. Yeah. I've repented Don't actually. Repent, child. <laughs> Come on. on there's a New Year's Day I spent there with my closest friends and we went to a park. 
and we stripped at the park. I've but it was been, at night. I've actually been skinny dipping. But it wasn't it like I was young. Ah, and in our complex, we had a pool, and I went swimming uh, with my mm, and I went swimming with my friends, and then got naked. Yeah, like one of my friends managed to convince me, like, take your costume off, and then did swim. Her name was Paula. Like, was like, it during the day or at night? During the day. Ah, Larato, and then I took my costume off, got into the water, swam, and she ran off with my costume. <laughs> <laughs> And luckily, our house was like directly opposite was to my the mom? pool. My mom was home, so you got home naked. I had to like run. And then <laughs> what did she say? My mom was just traumatized, and she was like, "Where's your costume?" I'm like, I, "Someone took it." Like, it just didn't make any sense. But I was just like, I will never listen to anyone tell me to take my clothes off. <laughs> Trauma. I've skinny dipped and it was it was fun. It was nice. But at night. Um what is one of your guilty pleasures? Guilty pleasure. Like drinking a lot of red wine, dry red wine. Mm. Until <laughs> until I'm loud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, loud. Well, you just like you're having a normal conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went from zero to hundred real quick. <laughs> you, you just your face is tingling, mm. and, but you feel you yourself go to the getting, bathroom and yeah. you start whispering to yourself, "Get drunk, get drunk." That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> Please, please. Okay. <laughs> oh, I should share this. Ooh.